Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about tab stops in Microsoft Word. So, what are tab stops and what is the point, you're probably thinking. Let me start off with something you're probably already familiar with, and that is paragraph alignment. You hopefully already know how to left align something, or center it on the page, or right align. Well, tab stops are kind of like that, but they give you more control over how you are aligning your text. For example, when you left align something, the words are lined up and they're straight on the left side, but they're all the way over at the left end of the page. What happens if, say, I want to align my text on, along the left flush, but I want it to be on the right side of the page? for say a, an address that is where tab stops come in well you could hit the tab key and try to tab 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 and here tab 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 again here tab tab but you end up getting yourself into trouble and you get a mess on your hands tab stops let you be precise with your measurements and they are quick and easy. So how do I set a tab stop? The first thing you need to do is select the paragraphs that you want to apply the tab stop to. And right now I have four paragraphs selected. In Microsoft Word's eyes, that is a paragraph. That is another paragraph because Whenever I hit enter, it creates a new paragraph. You can see that when I show marks. So I select my paragraphs I want to add the step, stop to. And the quickest way to do it is just, just point at the ruler and click where you want to put the left tab stop at, let's say, four and a half inches. So I'm going to single click and it's put a little L there so the tab stop is there now if I click on that line it's got an L it's got an L for all four of those if I go down to the next line I did not apply a tab stop to that one so there's not one on the ruler but my text hasn't moved at all you have to go to the line and hit tab one time bumps it all the way over. Notice that if I go to a line where there is no tab stop and I hit tab, just moves it over about a half an inch at a time. So I'm going to move all these over and you can see there we go. What if I want it to be over at four inches? Now I have all of them selected and I can move them exactly where I want them. Pretty nifty. I can move it all the way over to the right as far as I can go without bumping to an extra line. It's about four and a half inches. If I go any further then California Tourism Association won't fit. So that is a left tab stop. What if I wanted to have stuff centered but not centered on the page? I wanted the center of each line to be centered on 4.25 inches. That would be a center tab stop. And in order to set up a center or right tab stop, you actually need to pull up this dialog box here by pointing the paragraph, going down here to tabs. And this dialog box will show you all the tabs that are, have been applied to your current line or current selection. Right now we have one at 4.25 inches. and is a left alignment. Let's turn it into a center alignment and hit OK. 
Now the lines are all centered up nicely. And the tab up above on the ruler looks like an upside down T. When you point at it, it says center tab. Well, let's move this stuff over here. That's easy because I have it all selected right now. A uh, quick way to get to that dialog box is to just double click on the ruler. And let's change it to a right tab stop. Okay. And you see what that looks like. It looks like the backwards L on the ruler, a right tab. And a couple notes about tabs. Right now there's a tab set for each one of these paragraphs but the following paragraph there is none. If however I were on a paragraph where the tab is applied and I were to hit enter my new paragraph I just created also has a tab stop. So if I didn't want one there I would have to drag the tab off. I'd click and drag it off. That gets rid of it. That's an easy way. Or you can, if you have a bunch of them that you accidentally got put on your ruler, you can double click and view all of them here. You can just hit clear all and it gets rid of them all. That's a lot easier than trying to drag each one off individually. That's a little bit on tabs. You're going to be learning more about them in your future projects. I hope that's been helpful. Hope you've enjoyed it.